Why well, hello there, welcome back to my channel. It is of course Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing one of the latest updates to Google Sites. So of course, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so Google has recently announced in their blog, which is, if you're not familiar with it, I'll leave a link down below, um, in their workspace updates that they have a new feature, which is insert emojis into Google Sites. I'm sure we're all shocked and surprised about this latest feature and update. I'm so happy about it, I just can't contain my excitement. Yay. Now, if I sound really monotone, it is because this is a feature that we have had since forever. I just think that Google has decided that because a lot of people don't realize it's something they that you can do on your keyboard natively that they decided, okay, let's just add an actual emoji button. And I've talked about this in my video going over Noto emojis and I use Noto emojis all over my sites. You folks who have been watching my channel from the very beginning have seen me use emojis inside of my Google sites. So this is not a shock or surprise to me whatsoever. And it's not really a feature update. However, there are other features and updates that Google has created that I would like to discuss with you because I even missed them. One such update was the ability to duplicate particular groupings inside of Google Sites. So previously, when you were to do a duplication, you would have to duplicate a section. So it even says right here that currently Google Site editors can duplicate a section of their site and the duplicated section appears directly below the section it was duplicated from. Starting this week, we're extending the duplicate feature by enabling you to easily duplicate objects such as, you know, images, buttons, text boxes, and groups when editing a site. So this is a new feature that I totally missed and I don't think most of us really, well, I hadn't seen anyone talk about it. So now you know. <laughs> One of the other features that I brushed over, but I've, oh, I've known it was there since I saw it was the use of alternative text for visual content. So previously, whenever you had actually added an image to your Google site, if it was an, um, a foreground image, you were able to change the alt text, but background images you were not. Now you do have the option of actually adding the alt text to the background images as well. And that's including in sections. So before you were not able to do that and now you're actually able to do that. So those are just the features that they have you know, rolled out inside of Google Sites. Um, again, the emoji feature, I'm like, womp, 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 womp. <laughs> like, no one cares. Um, I would have preferred to see the ability to actually search fonts. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but when, if you have a ton of fonts like I do inside of your Google Site, and you go and you need to go and click on one, sometimes it gets a little buggy, you know, it gets a little jumpy. And then, you have to scroll all the way down and, and back and find the font, or if you double click because you're impatient, it will actually open up the, you know, the actual fonts so that you have to, you know, find a font. And I'll show you what that looks like actually. This will make sense visually. <laughs> all right, so let's say for example, I wanna change this font here that's um, under the header. If I highlight this font and I decide, okay, I, want, I don't want this to be the Comorant font anymore, then what I would do is typically click on it twice. If you double click on this, it's going to sort of glitch out for you, take forever to open, and then open up just like that, <laughs> which is exactly what happened. Um, so I hate when that happens. So you do have to just single click and sort of wait a moment. Just kind of give it a second. It'll scroll down. Now let's say you want to choose a font that's like way down towards the bottom. Um, I'm going to choose this one right here and look what happened. I didn't even get to actually select the font before the font box closed. So what I would like to see is a better font searching capabilities and also just, you know, less buggy with the fonts around here. Like, okay, we get it. People didn't know they can add emojis. Uh, maybe add a tutorial, a better tutorial for Google sites for people when they first start, because as soon as you open up Google Sites, most people don't know what they're doing. A lot of website builders um, have a, like a small tutorial, a small video 
And Google was like, no, you're on your own, fam. Figure it out. It's drag and drop. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah, but can we do something a little bit better than that? So that's my just my personal thing. Another thing I would like to see, um, I don't care so much about, but a lot of people would like to see is text on top of, um, so with, with objects. These are objects, by the way. Objects, elements, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> if you were to have an image, like my image of my friend here, and you wanted to add text, a lot of people want to just click on said image and add text to the top of it. Remember though, this is a flex box system. And so if you are familiar with uh, any sort of uh, grid system, that should give you any indication as to why or why not you cannot particularly do that well inside of a Google site. And I'm gonna leave that there. Um, and then there's just a lot of little things. I would like to adjust the spacing inside of Google Sites for the images. Like I don't like these Grand Canyon size gaps in between everything. And I can see someone saying, but Chelts, what do you mean? They have the spacing feature. Let me show you what I mean by spacing. Okay, so as you can see here on my personal brand site, between my images, I don't have any space between the images. This is just what I wanted for this aesthetic. Obviously, aesthetically dope. Now, if I have started rebuilding this site instead of a Google site, just to show you what it looks like, um, it is and not complete is again, just a work in progress to show you what it looks like. So this is what it's looking like in the Google site. I'm not opposed to having the spacing in the background, um, the black, it's not a problem, but I would prefer to have more uh, control over it. Again, the Grand Canyon size gaps, bro. Why can't I get like this close? You know, you see that? You see, like even just a tad closer would make me so much happier. Um, but I digress. It is something I'm learning to deal with inside of Google Sites. And they do continue to make improvements. While small, every small improvement is a positive improvement. Granted, the emoji thing is not an improvement because it was already there. It's just... I don't even know what to call that. It was like, oh, y'all don't realize you can do this. So here, let me, let's just add it. Like, I don't, I don't get it. It just didn't make any sense to me. Okay. So one of these days I will do sort of a design with me, which is going to be where I, I probably won't be talking. It'll just be me designing a site. You know, I have done that with a wireframe before. Um, but I, just to show you, I want to try to choose something that's complex but also just not super complex it'll just be like a landing page something I don't know something that something that I believe will help you and understand what my design process is like and also what you can and can't do inside of your Google site if you have any questions but the one thing I can't teach you is your own design aesthetic as I like to say all right so what else? Is there anything else I would like to see? There's a number of things I would like to see inside of Google Sites, but I think that's pretty much the gist of it for now. Um, and I know you all have asked me, like, what are your top <laughs> your top three things um, like that you would want to see inside of Google Sites? Any features that you want to see? Again, there's a number of features that I would like to see in a Google Site. Um, there are a number of things that I would like to see in a lot of website builders. But I also understand that I can just use another website builder if I wanted to use a different feature. One of the things I would prefer to see is, again, more technical side. That has to do with um, your embeds. The fact that they're just not crawled. They're not indexed. They, they basically show up blank whenever they are looked at on the Google site. I would change that. That's the biggest thing for me. And for a lot of people, that would be considered a drawback. I get a lot of people asking me questions about affiliate marketing. I don't do affiliate marketing, so I don't, I can't respond to that question. I'm sorry, not sorry, because it's just not something I do. <laughs> um, definitely not the channel for affiliate marketing. There are several other YouTubers out there who create Google sites specifically for affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing. So if that is something you are interested in, I highly suggest checking out one of their channels. I am not into that particular side of um, websites or web design. Like it's just not something that interests me. All right, so, <clears throat> and I wouldn't know where to, where to tell you to do anything at. So what else is there? 
that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so please let me know if you have any other questions. I will let you know if there are any other features. I will also leave a link down below to this workspaceupdates.google blog so that you are able to check it out. And don't forget, I do have upcoming classes, okay? Upcoming classes for my Google Sites Academy. And I am also working on my regular Google Sites courses. I know, I know I've been talking about it, but I'm actually putting in the effort for you all since you have requested me to create a course on Google Sites. I am working on three, three and a half because I don't want to talk about the fourth one right now. It's a little rough. So three and a half Google Sites related courses for you all specifically. All right. Thanks again so much for watching. And of course, see ya.